Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Mm, fine. Excellent. And you? Fine, fine. It's almost Friday. <laughs> and the Friday, uh, ¿cómo se chiquito? Friday, little Friday. Little Friday. A little Friday. Yes. A little Friday, yes. It's almost Friday. I feel that this month has gone running very fast. Very, very. Yes, the waking is very fast. Imagine that we are about to, we're about to get to September. Donuts time. Donuts, donuts. A ver, Adriana Sofía here. Solo cinco habemos, Fitch. Y qué barbaridad. Se les ha pegado la colcha. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. okay. Vamos a ver si ya vino alguien más. Ok, Erico, ya ves, ya vemos. Eleven. Eh, Adriana Sofía. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. No hay Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Grace Grace. Yvonne Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Me pareció ver la Jennifer por ahí. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. Yes, yes, no here. Jennifer, Jennifer. Ok. Jessica Lisset. José Alberto. Presente. Yes. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Presente. Liseta Yanara. Presente. Nice. Nubia Zulema. Nubia, no here. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen. Karen Karen, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Let's see if 
there is somebody new, somebody that added after mm -hmm. I call you. Adriana Sofia. Adriana Sofia. Um, yo y mi y la y pensé que era Ana. <laughs> By Adriana Sofia. Ana is here. No yet. Adriana. Ana Grisel. Edwin. Elda, Elda, sí. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. Jennifer, por ahí estaba, pero quizás no le funciona el mic. No, ya no está, ¿verdad? Ok. Y José Alberto, ya. Ok, Nubia. Present teacher. Ok. Rebeca Marcela. Karen y Stephanie. Ok. Vaya pues. Today we will have a review of a indirect question. A review, but also a, a part of the review, we're going to add something else, right? Talking about indirect questions. And remember yesterday we were studying just no questions. But today we're going to make the review of the indirect questions, just no questions. And then we're going to talk about a information question. So that's another story. Let's see. This is our video conference number 18, indirect questions, information questions, right? Check. Just reviewing yesterday's class. We said uh, when talking about yes no questions that, well, we were mentioning about the, the different phrases that we can use to start this indirect question. One can be, can you tell me? Could you tell me if you want to be more polite? Do you know? I wonder, I was wondering. Do you mind telling me? Those are just some examples of phrases. It, that we can use right as introductory phrase. Mm, but the meaning of the question it just varies in being more polite every time. The most words you use, the more polite you are when asking the question, right? That's the only thing. But uh, the main thing is on the second part of the question. So if you say, did you have dinner? Can you tell me? If, I'm going to use if, every time I make a yes no question in indirect way. Uh, can you tell me if you had dinner? Remember as we're talking about the past, my verb will go in the past. And another thing is that uh, we omit the auxiliary, right? This type of question, we omit the auxiliary when we are using did, do, or does, the auxiliary uh, changes, so it's eliminated. And then the verb, if my question is in past, the verb becomes in past. If my question is in present, my verb will be in present, and the verb does not exist in the indirect question. So you say, do you bring money to it? Hmm. Could you tell me if you bring money to it? We keep exactly the same tense, but the only thing is that uh, we do not use, we do not use uh, the auxiliary in the indirect question, right? Does Victor live in San Salvador? And then we use, do you know? If Victor lives as it is their person singular. Mm -hmm. Sorry, este está compartiendo pantalla. Te digo yo. <laughs> Ay, no les creo. 
Qué barbaridad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vaya, so check. If we are using the third person singular, we use S in the verb, right? As we substitute uh, the auxiliary. Remember, in the indirect question, we do not use auxiliaries. So we eliminate it. If the sentence, if the question is in past, I put the verb in past. If the question is in present, I put the verb in present. I cannot say, could you tell me if do you bring? Mm -mm, because the auxiliary does not exist. I eliminate the auxiliary and I leave only the verb. The same here, right? The auxiliary is eliminated and I only leave the verb. Best, that as I'm talking about the person, I have to add yes to the verb. And remember we said also that the indirect questions behave like a sentence, see? Victor lives in San Salvador, ¿verdad? No suena pregunta, suena oración. Eh, you bring money to eat. You had dinner. Yes? So the indirect question doesn't sound like a, a question. It sounds like a sentence. Questions over there? No question. Hmm? Okay. Bye. Um, I'm going to add another page and we're going to give a review to um, those questions, those questions when we use the verb to be. For example, if I tell you, um, so bigger, more. If I tell you, with the verb to be, right? The other examples were with other verbs. Now, if I'm going to use the verb to be, you say, is your brother a doctor? Let's use, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Let me, can you tell me? If I'm going to use if, if your brother, I know, if your brother is a doctor, see, can you tell me if your brother is a doctor? Mire, is your brother a doctor? Cuando acá este, se le llama inversion a la estructura, porque aquí tengo el is. Y en este caso, el is queda después del brother. Is your brother, I make up, right? Is your brother a doctor? Can you tell me if your brother is a doctor? I cannot say, can you tell me if is your brother a doctor? Porque ahí se estaría comportando como un pregunto. Y esto se comporta como una oración, right? Can you tell me if your brother is a doctor? Let's see another one. Are you um, at home? Are you at home? I wonder, remember, al final la introductory phrase que usted ocupe, eh, no importa porque eso lo único que varía es que tan amable quiere ser pero no va a cambiar el, todo el hecho de la pregunta y el orden que esta lleva, ¿ok? Are you at home? I wonder if you are at home. Y en este caso, recuerden que decíamos, si empezamos con can, do, did, could, voy a usar question mark at the end, pero si empiezo con I, en ese caso voy a poner punto. I wonder, I like to know, um, I was wondering. En ese caso, yo no tengo una pregunta empezando, entonces no le voy a poner signo de pregunta, le voy a poner period. Yes, igual. We have the inversions, see? Are here at the beginning 
And then here I have R after the U. And that's what they call inversion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you at home? I wonder if you are at home. Vaya, denme un ejemplo, por favor, de una oración con el verbo to be. To be. Mm. One sentence, normal sentence, normal question. Hola. Are you there? No there. Vaya, pues, vámonos. Are you go to the party? Okay, thank you, Novia. Are you go to the party? Going. going. Are you going to the party? Okay, are you going to the party? If I have a question like that, like that, I'm going to say, can you tell me if you are going to the party? In bed they are you going, you are going. Are you going to the party? Can you tell me if you are going to the party? Yes. Entonces, siempre eh, el verbo to be se va a mover, ¿verdad? En la pregunta normal está antes del subject. En la otra, en la pregunta con indirect question va a ir después del subject. Y cuando estamos, en este caso que estamos usando el eh, continuous, the same, the same. It will go after the right? But I'm going to send you to working groups. We're going to review the, the vocabulary and when, uh, well, not the structure. I'm going to check. I have a question, teacher. Uh -huh, uh, what about uh, if we are going, if we, if we are using, for example, are your mother still sick? Is your mother. Ah, is your mother, is your mother still sick? Ajá. Entonces, es, es el, el, o sea, la pregunta es el verbo, el, el, el estilo. O sea, sería igual. Por... Sí, ahí me diría, can you tell me if your mother is still sick? Ah, ok. Vale, okay. nos vamos a ir a ver, a ver, que nos acordamos. Teacher. Hola, chao, mejor salve. Sí. Tengo otra pregunta y, y el signo de interrogación no lo lleva. ¿Cómo no? Es lo que les explicaba José Alberto. Uh -huh. Si sí, sí, usted empieza una pregunta con la pregunta con quién, con du, con did. En ese caso yo tengo question mark at the end. Por ejemplo, can you tell me, ah, could también. Can you tell me, could you tell me, could I know. Esas van a llevar question mark. Pero si usted está empezando con I, por ejemplo, I wonder, I'd like to know. Esas que van así con I like to to know I was wondering estas como no ese no es un símbolo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces esta va a llevar eh, punto al final. Ay, esta sí lleva question mark. ¿Verdad? Ajá, esta sí lleva question mark. Entonces, si empiezo con can o con could o con do o con did, si yo le pregunto, do you know? Do you know if you're going to the party? Question mark. Can you tell me if you're going to the party? Could you tell me if you're going to the party? En ese caso, si ocupo question mark, pero si, si ocupo, I wonder if you're going to the party. I like to know if you're going to the party. En ese caso, eh, ocupo punto. No, no question mark. Any other question? Estamos listos. No question. Excellent. Yo les voy a compartir.
compartir. Ahorita vamos primero a hacer el... Trabajando. Sí, este, aquí andamos pegando un nuevo rótulo. Vaya, este, les voy a compartir en el chat, oye, en el chat, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to share in the chat. So... What you're going to do there is change the questions to indirect questions. Charging. Oh, no había abierto WhatsApp. Vamos a ver. Hola. Can you sit? Can you sit? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, don't. Vaya. Ah. Bueno. Va, ya está. Vaya, any questions? ¿Ya vieron el, el, el mensaje en el chat? Sí, sí. Yes. Yes, it. Yes, it. Los voy a mandar en grupitos. Quiero ver. Perfecto. Vaya. Let's go. We are 15. We can make five groups, three in each. There we go. Join, join. Can you share the screen, Elda? Yes. Sure. Sí, aquí lo Teacher no da permiso de compartir. No sé, yo, yo decía. Dice José Alfredo que no. Dice José. Teacher, todavía no puedo. De verdad. Vamos a ver. Ay, espérenme. Sí, vaya, me está llamando otro grupo, cabala, pues sí, es cierto. Va, ahí está. Ya. Sí, pues. Sí. Sí. Era para eso, teacher. Me imaginé, me imaginé. Ok, ahí voy a perdonar. No problem, it's ok. Ok, en okay. la pregunta número uno, ¿Does Lizzie like ice cream? Change the direct question into the indirect question. You say, can you tell me? Can you tell me if Liz? Uh -huh. You tell me. Uh, I remember does is eliminate e the verb is at the s. Mm -hmm. 
No. No. Sí, yo eliminé y das. ¿Verdad? Sí. El das, sí. Y se le agrega ese al verbo, ¿no? Exactly. Más que if no tan perdido. Lizzie likes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you tell me if? If. Eh, el sujeto va antes, va antes ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Lizzie. Yeah, because it behaves like a sentence. If Lizzie. Likes. Likes. Ice cream. Likes. If he likes ice cream. Recuerda, mi teacher, por favor. Solamente el I es el que lleva. Solo el I verdad. no lleva. Exacto. Solo el I lleva puntos. Si empieza con quién, con do. O eso sí llevan. A eso sí llevan question mark. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me if he lives 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 in Paris? Mm -hmm. Yes. But is a listener can you Can you tell me if cambia el el orden, teacher? In in the number three, eh, if can you tell me if she is? It, it was, can you tell me if is she hungry, verdad? Ahí es donde cambia el el orden del. Repeat, repeat. Can you tell me if Is she hungry? ¿Y el to be dónde lo dejó? If is she, no. no. Can you tell me if she is? Siempre se mantiene. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Ay, sí, 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 uh -huh. uh -huh. sí, ah, pues sí. Y no pueden escribir aquí. Es que estoy con el teléfono, teacher, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Y yo desde, como estoy con la compu del trabajo, no puedo acceder a WhatsApp. Sí, es cierto. Ajá. Paso. Entonces los estamos escribiendo a mal. That's okay. Y los estamos diciendo así en voz alta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo Perfect. quedaría entonces la tercera? La tercera es, can you tell me if she's oh, she's hungry? Hungry. Are the... Vaya, la cuarta dice, la original, are they from Chile? Entonces sería, can you tell me if she they is. are? Ah, la cuatro. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Ajá. Can sí. you tell me if they are from Chile? Yeah, from Chile. Mm -hmm. Teacher, tengo otra duda. El, usted dijo que los viernes iban a ser días de corte, entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, para, para mañana, la pues, unidad 3. Hacemos. Ajá, hoy terminan la unidad 3. Ah, ok. Está bien. Gracias. Teacher, ¿y cuándo fue que terminamos? Qué rápido pasaron los días. <risas> Lo que pasa es que en la unidad 2 eh, dan mucho tiempo. Uh. La dos. Ajá. Sí, la porque esta es la clase 18, 19, dijo, vea. ¿Qué número es hoy? 25. No, pero ¿qué número no. es? Es que no recuerdo si dijo 18 o 19. 19, no, 18, creo que es. Ajá, porque terminamos lunes para las 25. ¿Qué es hoy, pues? Ay, sí, mañana es viernes, sí, mañana es para terminarla. Ah, oh, ok, ok. I know, I'm thinking today is Friday. <laughs> yeah. Last week, on Wednesday, I believe is Thursday. So, Thursday, <laughs> I felt like eternity. Yes, yes, because you were wishing for the Friday. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I went Number I went okay. Last Friday today, but I know. No, mañana. <laughs> Tomorrow.
back. <laughs> but so, number number five. Are the children on holiday this week? Maria, can you tell me if if is the children the ch the children are uh -huh, the children are on holiday uh -huh, on holiday this week sí. yo creo <laughs> Six. do do they work in Canada ¿Cómo quedaría eso? Esa creo que sería. Can you tell me? If. 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 The, if do. No. If they do. If they do. Work in Canada. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> to omit the auxiliary, remember. ¿Cómo, cómo? Remember that you omit the auxiliary. Entonces sería, if ah, they work. If they work in Canada. If they uh -huh. work in Canada, exactly. Ajá, uh -huh, es cierto, es cierto. Ok, seven. Can you tell me if you work in Canada? If he allow you. Can you, can you, la siete? Ajá, uh -huh, can you tell me? ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Lawyer, abogado. Mm -hmm. Lawyer, oh. Lawyer, lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer. Is he, is he a lawyer? Can you tell me if he is? If he is a lawyer, lawyer. A lawyer, a lawyer. Sí, porque el ayer es mentiroso. Es cierto, a lawyer. <laughs> Ocho. Do they often go out? Do they often go out? Sería entonces, can you tell me if they mm -hmm. often go out. If they go out? If they go out often. If they go out often. Okay. If they? If they go out often. Okay. Do you drink coffee? Do you drink coffee, teacher? I do. How much in the day? Um, two cups. One early in the morning, one at night. Okay, Sometimes. and you, Jose Alfredo? Sometimes. <laughs> ah, depende. Depends. Ahora, pero como tres tazas. I I usually drink a cup per day, usually. Okay. But See, a cup per day. Very strong. Yes, in the afternoon with a... Bread. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Especially Maria Luisa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious, Maria. Yes, but uh, the uh, time ago, I used to drink, to drunk, to not. To drink, I am passado drunk, right? I used oh, to drunk. Uh, I used to drink. I used to drink two cups, but big cups, cups. Oh. But I discovered that coffee gave me tachycardia. So, so I stopped to drink too much coffee. So Stop now drinking coffee. Stop drinking coffee too much. Wow. So uh -huh. now nowadays I only drink a cup of coffee. Imagine. It's a 
Is that... <laughs> because it's delicious. <laughs> yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I like coffee. Es una lástima. Sí, es bien triste. I drink coffee, but I don't drink it too strong. Really? You don't like it? Con, no, no too strong. A mí sí me gusta. Y he encontrado, a, I found eh, a coffee that is eolizado, e, 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 no sé, pero the point is that the way that they, como, how do you say secar? They dry. They dry the, the grains is with eh, vapor seco. Oh. Ajá, es eolizado, es la palabra. Do they get a different flavor? Yes, it's more strong. It's so, ooh. it's delicious. Say, it's, it's uh, her, no. ¿Cómo se dice su nombre? It, it's name. It's name, eh, Garat. Un super selecto. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gran promoción. Garat. It's, it's Garat, yes. It, yes, if you can try it, it's delicious for me. <laughs> okay, oh, so number nine. <laughs> can you tell me if if you drink if you drink coffee? Number ten is rich or late. Sería, can you tell me if, if Richard is late? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y ahí estamos entonces. Y sigue. Solo pregunta y sigue dando pecho. No, ya no. Did you, did you finish? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Perfect. Vámonos, pues. Copiado. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Everybody back. Missing. Okay. Two seconds. Not sure. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Give me a sec. Okay. Does Lizzie like ice cream? Can you tell me if Lizzie mm. like ice cream? <laughs> tell me. Can you tell me if Lizzie like, likes ice cream? Yes. Can you tell me if Lizzie likes ice cream? Uh, does he live in Paris? <laughs> Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? If he lives in Paris. Very good. Is he hungry? Can you tell me if she is hungry? 
Can you tell me if she's hungry? Uh, number four. Can you tell me if they are? Number. <clears throat> tell me, uh, Carlita. And number three can be, I wonder if she are hungry. Sí, sí, sí. You can use any. Uh, yeah, because uh, they tell you, you can you tell me, pero el orden, remember, doesn't. So the, the, the phrase no matter, right? Okay. Can you tell me if? If they are from Chile. Mm -hmm. Are the children on holiday this week? Can you tell me if the children are on holiday this week? Okay. What about non? Oops. Okay, number six. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if they work in Canada? Can you tell me if they work in Canada? Is she a lawyer? Uh -huh. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? If he is a lawyer? Can you tell me if he's a lawyer? Do they often go out? Can you tell me if they often go out? If they often go out? Often. They go out often. They Do you drink coffee? Can you tell me if you drink coffee? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if you drink coffee? And the last one. Can you tell me if, if it's Richard late? Can you tell me if? If is Richard, Richard late? late. If Richard is late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Richard is late. Very good. Ahí se da lo que llamamos inversion, right? Can you tell me if Richard is late? Very good. Nice, nice. Bueno, let's move then. Let's go to the next slide. Check. Here we have some vocabulary that we use when we talk about assembly processes. Check. We have the word mean, uh, the word weld, screw, tighten, adjust, a screw. What you're going to do here is match, right? match the words with the corresponding meaning. Again, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to discuss, and then we will come and share. Let's see, God and Stephanie.
Jennifer, I'm moving you to see if you can see the invitation. Match the terms. Match the terms related to assembly processes to their corresponding meaning. Yes. If, if you if you are okay, we can look for for a word. We can choose one word and look in the look at the dictionary, and then we can. We can find the the meaning. For example, I choose number one. Okay, and the word. I am going to look for weld. Weld. Okay. Weld is the word for soldar. Uh -huh. Solder brace. Dice que en Spanish es soldar. Well, yes. Could you spell it, please, to me? A human? Could you spell it, the word, please? W. W E L D. E L D. Uh -huh. L -D. L -D. Okay, yes. well, dictionary. Well, traduction. No, I don't want to. Quiero el diccionario Cambridge. Aquí está. Bye. Dice. The meaning is to join two pieces of metal together perma permanently by melting the parts that touch. I am going to read it again, dice. To join two pieces of metal together permanently. Permanently. Number three, right? Yes. And add, um, add use, no, right? Yes. Mm. No, one, three, no. Three, no. Three, two, and three, no. Three, thing I in the to move an object. What number? Teacher, the uh, number two, appointed piece is I'll just. number five. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually. Uh, number two, three, uh, to turn an object as I screw until it's, it is tied. And it cannot be turned anymore. No, it's no, no, no. Teacher, what is the different? Screw and I screw. One is the verb and the other is the noun. Number five is the noun and number two is the verb. Uh -huh. Then number two is to attach one surface to another using a screw. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. 
apartment. That is in the right place. Or the screen is tornillo. It's better. To turn an object as a screw on the lid is tight and it cannot be turned. Anymore. What is a screw? The tornillo. The wheel. Wheel. Eh, Esta es. Soldar. Screw. El wheel es soldar. El screw puede ser tornillo o atornillar. Atornillar sería. Eh, la número uno sería la opción tres. The three option. To join two pieces, pies, no sé cómo se pronuncia, of metal or plastic by heating. Uh -huh. To join two pieces. Ese es soldar. It's well. Ahorita se lo pongo aquí en el grupo. Number two. Number this two. This is number two. Is the no. ¿Quién es a tornilla? ¿Cuál dijo que era la, la, la uno? To join two to pieces join. of metal or plastic by hidden. So the edges come yes, together. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is well. Screw a pointed yes. piece of metal with a twisted part on its colored thread. Instead of hiding with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. Okay. But that is, but that is not, not number two. No, no, no. That's not number two. Sí. No, eh, la número dos ya la try option to attach. Can you please read the, the definition so I can put the number correct. Number four, adjust mm -hmm. with the first of option to move an object slightly okay. so that it is Sorry. in the, the right number place. Two. Adjust to move an object slightly so that it that it is in the right place or it fits better. Okay. Yeah. To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be turned anymore. A screw. Mm -hmm. That is the number two. That is the number two. No. Number five, como atornillar. Atornillar. Ah, sí, ajá, por el hecho de la A, ¿verdad? Ajá, okay. pero... We are well in number four, number three, and number one. But number five, no two and five. Two and five, ok, es al revés entonces. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> appointed, appointed piece of metal. Ah, 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 pues sí, un tornillo. Uh -huh. Exactly, and the other is the opposite. Y... No the opposite. Así sí. lo tenía y lo movió y lo dejó igual. Ay, es cierto, es cierto. No hice nada entonces. <risa> Ahí está. Pero entonces quiero ver. Un tornillo, a point, piece of metal, which is... Ah, uh -huh. entonces sí quedaría. Teacher, entonces a screw is it's one, a I think. Uh -huh. A high piece of metal. And screw is the verb. Catch with a screw. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I can. Vámonos. Okay. okay, thank you. Gracias, Adriana. Gracias. <laughs>
a ver, how many are here? Missing, missing. No, oh, okay. Vaya, what is to move an object slightly so that it is in the right place for, or it fits better? To move an object slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better? What is it? Adjust. 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 To turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be torn anymore. Tighten. Tighten. That is tighten. Very good. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating so the edges come together. Well. Well, well. Yes, well. A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread. Instead of heating with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. As true. As true. And to attach one surface to another using a screw? A screw. Good. <coughs> questions? Nope. No questions? Nice. Bye. Now, well, we're going to go to the second part of indirect questions. Check. This is what we call inversion, right? When you have to change the order of the subject and the verb. Um, for example, if you say, why is he happy? Now, if you notice, we're using no, just no questions. Now we're using indirect question. How do things change when I'm using the uh, indirect question? And when, uh, sorry, when I'm using yes, no question, and when I'm using a double H question. Check. I say, why is he unhappy? I'm going to use, can you tell me, right? Can you tell me why? So I'm going to be using the double H word from the question in the direct form. And then I put the subject and I move the verb to be. So I do this, switch, right? Mm -hmm. I invert the order. And you say, why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why he is unhappy? I invert the order and remember what we said at the beginning. The indirect question behaves like a sentence, yeah? It behaves like a sentence. So I'm going to, uh, to put first the subject and then the verb, like in the previous one, right? Okay, when is the restaurant closing? Can you tell me when the restaurant is closing? Yes, when, I'm going to use when because I use the same word, the same double H word from the previous question. Can you tell me when the restaurant is? The restaurant is, is the restaurant. In direct question, we use is the restaurant, while in the other one, the restaurant is like switch, right? Why was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me why, why? He was late for the meeting. Now look at this. That is uh, talking about the verb to be. These are with the verb to be, right? That we have to change the position of the verb to be. But if we're making questions with other verb, that is not the verb to be. And I have, for example, where does they believe? Can you tell me? Where David lives. 
I omit the, the, the auxiliary and I put the S to the verb because it is their person, right? The rule it behaves like in the like in the yes no question. The only difference is that when the yes no question you use if, and in the double H question you use the double H word, right? That's the only difference. But the rules are exactly the same that you omit the auxiliary and you add S to the verb if it is third person singular or you leave it like that if it is first or second person singular. Okay, why did Amanda call John yesterday? Can you tell me why Amanda called? Yeah. Why? Why? Did the auxiliary disappear? So I'm going to change my verb in past because I'm talking about the past. Can you tell me why Amanda called John yesterday? Now let's go to the book, to the manual. And you see, I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are. What do you wonder? What the two pieces I need to weld are. In this case, my normal question will be, what are the two pieces I need to weld? And remember, as we said, we inverted. So the verb to be goes at the end. All my subject is the two pieces I need to weld. That's why the verb to be goes at the end. I like to know when the provider will send the orders of screws. Future will send. When will the provider send? See, when will the provider send? I change the order and I will say when the provider will send. Because remember, the indirect question behaves like a sentence, no like a question. Yes. Now, uh, we have some other examples. Would you mind telling us how much the provider ch charges to process the order? How much the providers the provider charges? How much does the provider mean in auxiliary? Remember in the indirect question, I eliminate the auxiliary and I put S to the verb, verdad? Would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to process the order? Another example. Would you let me know what time the first bet is expected to be complete. What time? This is all my double H question, right? Uh, the first batch is my subject and the verb comes after the subject, right? What time is the first batch expected? Is the first batch, that's my subject, in direct question, the to be goes at the beginning, but in the indirect question, remember, it will always go after the subject. I don't know if you have any questions here. Remember to keep the same double H word that you're using in the question. In the past, in the, in the time of the, the verb. The verb will be always in present. Vámonos a la tendance antes de que se me pase mucho tiempo. Guarden, guarden las preguntas. Ya vamos. Ok. Ok. Adriana Sofía. Present. Oh. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin. Está Edwin. No, ¿verdad? Ok. 
Eh, Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace. Grace, Grace, no hay Grace. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Este. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Este Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Diana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Uno, tres, cuatro, cinco. No me mencionó. Aquí hay Nubia. Sí. Ay, no le creo, Nubia, qué barbaridad. Y sí le puse present. <ríe> so sorry. Ya no, ya estamos en directo. Ok, si sí me salté quizá, ¿verdad? Qué barbaridad. Va, no voy a presión. Ok, va. Let's see, let's see. Ok. Eh, vamos a compartir de nuevo. Qué barbaridad, no voy a. Va, vamos a ver. Any questions here? Questions. No. Um, I was saying only if the verb is always in. No, the the question that I have had was have, have, have the question that I have was a uh, if the time of the verb will be the same. Aha. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. sí. That is the same. For example, here, uh, how much does the provider charge? Would you mind telling us how much the provider charges? That's present, right? Seguimos present. But for example, if I say, would you mind tell me when was the, the party star? It is in past. Mm, va, primero vamos a corregir la pregunta. Ajá. Would you mind telling me when, you mind? when, when the was party, the party? When the party started? When the party. Ajá. Ajá. Would you mind telling me when the party started? Recuerden que independientemente de cuál es la introductory phrase that you use, ese no, no afecta más que para sonar más polite. Solo para eso. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, mmm, si usted quiere, puede decir, can you tell me how much the provider charges to the process, to process the order? Si está preguntándole a alguien con quien tiene confianza, pero si le está preguntando a alguien que no mucho, va agregando más palabras. O se va buscando un poco, poniendo un poco más rebuscado. Por ejemplo, would you let me know? Me dejaría saber. <ríe> ¿Verdad? O would you mind telling me? ¿Te importaría decirme? Pero es que no tiene mucha confianza con la persona con quien está hablando. Entonces, por eso busca ser más, por, más formal y más polite. Pero de allí... Eh, eh, no le no le afectó uh -huh. para nada más para nada más que para eso que para sonar más amable o más formal uh -huh. solo para eso nos sirve la introductory phrase 
Any other question? No question. No, teacher, thank you. Okay, vaya vámonos pues. Miren, we have some bicycles. Do you like bicycles? Yes. Who has a bicycle, Jose Alberto? Do you have a bicycle? No, teacher, I don't have a bicycle. But when you were a child? Uh, so much time ago. <laughs> okay. Vaya, vamos a ver what you remember about bicycles. Number the drawings in the correct order to assemble all the parts of the bicycle. Because later on, we will make questions about them. Mm -hmm. Ready. Number one, shipping. Number one is chipping. What is number two? How many levers? Frame. Frames. Uh -huh. Frame. And then? Wheel. Yes. Pedal. Basha. Number one is frame. Uh, which is number two pedals. Mm, y en qué lo va a poner, en qué lo va a trabajar. En qué vamos a trabajar los pedals. Ah, las wheels. Wheels. Yo diría que es handle bars. The wheels. And after the wheels. Pedals. Pedals. After the pedals. Pedals. There is something else before the pe the saddle. Handle handlebars. The handlebars. Handle uh huh. After the handlebars. Saddle. The saddle. saddle. And then. Shipping. Shipping. El shipping va a ser lo último. Sí. Porque la acuérdese que la está armando para mandársela al cliente. A menos que usted la esté interpretando como que primero le llegó y después la armó usted. <ríe> pues el... que ahí no cabe la bicicleta. <ríe> si no cabe, imagínense. Va a ver cómo van a hacer. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Entonces, si primero usted la va, o sea, la va, se la van a mandar y después usted la va a armar, entonces ponemos este como uno y corremos todos los demás. ¿Ok? Vaya. Vámonos a las questions and then keep in mind this picture and the order because you will be asking indirect questions about these things and how to make the bicycle, right? Bye. How do we make these indirect questions? Yo voy a hacer un par con ustedes que ya hice varios, ¿verdad? Uno, dos voy a hacer con ustedes and then I will leave you alone. By a who is she? You are going to use. Recuerden que ustedes pueden usar cualquier introductory equation, pero como ahorita quiero que se me concentren más en la estructura, nos estamos pegando a can you tell me, pero ahí usted puede usar la introductory equation que usted quiera. A ver, can you tell me? Can you tell me you... who is she? Mm. Who she is? Who is exactly. Who she is? So tell me 
species. Uchi is. Can you tell me who she is? Ya sabemos que el verbo to be pasa a dónde. At the, At the end. end of the sentence. Exactly. Vaya, hagamos una así que lleva otro verbo. Why do you like traveling so much? Le vamos a quitar una L porque traveling con double L es British. Vaya, can you, can you tell me? Vamos con el why, ¿verdad? Why qué? Can you tell me? Why? Why you traveling so much? ¿Qué me falta ahí? Like. Ah. Why you like? Traveling. Traveling, so, traveling much. so much. So much. Can you tell me why you like traveling so much? Voy a hacer chiqui la letra para que no se me pase. A la otra. In number two, teacher, what is what is this? So, can you tell me what this is? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Bye. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Vamos a ver cómo nos va. Y si nos alcanza el tiempo, el próximo es a mixture. Mixture, combinados, double H questions, eh, with, yes, no questions. A ver cómo nos va en la vida. Cómo nos va con los dos eh, pegados. Ok, pacha. Here you go. Los voy a mover de grupos hoy. No, teacher, así estamos bien. Ya los moví, so sorry. <risa> Quiero ver, somos 18. Ya le di. Vaya, vamos a ver. Espero todos se unan. José Alfredo, are you here? Sorry, Techir, ahorita. Vamos a ver. Adriana, Adriana Marcela, try to join. Adriana, 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 hello. Wait. Hello. Can you tell me who she is. She is. 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 What is Is. 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 Why do you like traveling so much? Can you tell me? 
why you like traveling so much. Or where does she play tennis? Can you tell me where, where? Teacher. Yeah. Creo que estoy solo. La compañera creo que está de oyente. Ay, Jennifer Elizabeth, pero no me dijo nada, Jennifer. Ya me lo llevo, entonces ya le vamos a mandar a otra gente. De acuerdo, gracias. Ay, Rosy, okay. por ahí le traigo un compañerito. Tiche, pero no veo a nadie. Elmer Fabricio. <risa> <risa> Escondido. Ay, se le salió Víctor, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero él a veces se sale, Tiche, y quizás cuando no, no le guste el grupo. <risa> <risa> ahí lo traigo de regreso. Usted lo castiga. <risa> <risa> Ok. Está ahí, Elmer. Sí. Hi. Yeah, I'm here. Number four, where does she play tennis? Podríamos poner... I like to know where... Ay, ya me perdí. I would like to know... They are where, me where play tennis chi? ¿Dónde juega tenis chi? Sí. sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Cuando lo voy a escribir me ve, me, me risa. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah. I'd like to know. Where place? Mm -hmm. Quién? 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 Donde está el shopper? I where where cheese? Ah, sí, es cierto. No es pregunta. Ajá. Where she place? Play. Tent. Ajá. Es cierto. Teacher, aquí aplica así como no, pero ajá, siempre, ¿verdad? Cuando lleva why, where al principio, mm -hmm. o can you tell me, lleva question mark. Cuando lleva can, could, o do, did, sí lleva question mark. Siempre se mantiene al, al, al igual que el anterior, la regla, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre. En oh. la número dos no va a llevar question mark porque usó I wonder. Ay, sí, sí. Ajá, ahí está, muy bien. Thank you, teacher. Tell me if your children are holiday this week. Ya me lo entendí. Sí, sí, este, se agarra bastante el... el... El hilo de todo. How are you doing? We finished. Terminando, teacher. Mm. Nice, nice. Me llega. <laughs> eh, acá estábamos comentando, teacher, que en la última, por ejemplo, 
se obvia el, el dos y quedaría como Can you tell me what he do at the weekend? What he does, porque es tercera persona. What he does. Sí. No se obvia el dos. Como no, es que ese das que es el auxiliar y lo quita. Pero el verbo ah. le pone es. Ah. Ah. Así como cuando dice eh, what he plays, what he does, what he eats, what he cooks. Ah, ya. Yeah. Porque el primero es el auxiliar, pero el segundo es el verbo. Ajá. Ah, de, de do, de, de hacer. Exacto. Ajá. Exacto. Entonces ahí lo tiene que poner en tercera persona. Ah, ok. Lo mismo, por ejemplo, en el verbo, cuando está aquí, por ejemplo, dice, can you tell me where she plays? Exacto. Hay que agregarle la S. Sí, 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 sí. Bien interesante, pero confuso a la vez, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Y más cuando empieza a ver las reported questions, Todavía le da más problema. Ya se me salieron del grupo cuatro todas las niñas. Vámonos, pues. Let's go. Aquí. Todos vinieron, vamos a ver, ten seconds. Aquí, hoy sí, ya todos vinimos. Uh -huh. Let's see. Who is she? Can you tell me who she is? What is this? What is this? Can, can you tell me? Can you tell me what this is? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Where does she play tennis? Can you tell me? Where she plays tennis? Yeah. Can you tell me where she plays tennis? Very good. When do John and Luke meet? Can you tell me when John and Luke meet? Mm -hmm. okay. Where is the station? Can you tell me where the station is? Where this, this. Tell me where the station is. Where do you study Chinese? Can you tell me where you study Chinese? Can you tell me where you study Chinese? Where is the nearest supermarket? Can you tell me where the nearest? Where the nearest supermarket is? Mm -hmm. Okay. When is the party? 
Can you tell me when the party is? Uh -huh. And the last one, what does he do Can on the weekend? Can you tell me what he does at the weekend? Can you tell me what he does at the weekend? Very good. Question? No question. No, teacher, thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to move to this part. Uh, remember, you're going to ask. Let's see, sharing again. Oh, I'm sharing. You're going to take turns asking and answering indirect questions about the assembly process of a product. Integrate the vocabulary from exercise three, this one. You have pedals, chipping. No, this is not exercise three, the previous one. This one. Weld, screw, tighten, adjust, ask you to use vocabulary from there and also vocabulary from this one, right? Pedals, frame, handlebar, chipping, saddles, spurs. Uh, it doesn't matter what product you want to think about how people assemble, okay? But remember, you're asking indirect questions. They can be yes, no questions, or they can be information questions, okay? I'm going to send you again to the rooms. I'm going to move you one more time because I want to make video groups this time. And you are going to think about any product like how to assemble a car, how to assemble a bicycle, how to assemble a cake. Any, any product, a cell phone. Okay, any product, you decide on the product you want to do and you ask indirect questions about how to assemble that product. Any questions? No questions. Mm. No. How many questions? Uh, at, at least five. Can you, can you share the instruction again, please? But you're going to uh, make questions. You're going to make questions about, uh, remember we're talking about the production process, right? But you have to make in answer and ask indirect questions about the assembly process of a product, any product. Do you have any idea how or what we put first? <laughs> okay, for example, right? So you make questions about how to assemble a bicycle, how to assemble a car, how to assemble any product that you want to know. Okay, so yeah, five questions would be okay about the same product. Or if you say, we don't want to ask about how to assemble, we want to ask about how to produce it, it's okay, right? How do we make the, the shampoo? How do we make shoes? How do we make or, or elaborate any product? Okay. It doesn't matter if it is not of the product that you have been working about, but any of the product that you consume regularly. But you have that question on how do we make the chocolate? Do you have any idea about how chocolate is made? Right, so that would be an indirect question. Do you, can you tell me how chocolate is made? I would like to know what you do first when you prepare chocolate. 
okay? So you go for indirect questions, but basing or taking as a base, a product that you regularly use. It doesn't matter if you do not produce it in your company because you told me yesterday that you do not produce any, product, any products, but you can do it about a product that you regularly consume. Any questions? Questions, questions. No questions. Mm. No? Vámonos, pues. There it go. Try to join. Join, join. No, no, aquí estoy. Lo que pasa es que no podía activar el micrófono. Ok. Descondida. Descondida. Que no sé si es mi celular o eso. La aplicación ha estado fallando últimamente. Con la última actualización, ¿verdad? Sí. Va a hacer cinco preguntas. ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué producto podemos hacer? Uno sencillo. Um, quiero ver. Billeteras. ¿El qué dice, perdón? Billeteras. No creo que es muy complicado. Mm. Bueno, no sé, ¿alguna otra? ¿Una mesa? <ríe> Se corta la tabla y cuatro patas. O un poquito. <ríe> Más fácil. <ríe> qué sencillo lo hace sonar. <risa> no. O sea, no lo es, pero suena, es, bueno, en mi imaginación es un poco más fácil. <risa> ah, pero está más fácil que ah, detallitos de billetera. Ay. Vale. Quedémonos con las mesas. <risa> A table. Of the, ¿cómo se decía sala? A living room. Ah, oh, bueno. Okay. Water. Water. Entonces, the first is a by the eh, en San Bartolo. ¿Hace ¿Ah? cuánto tiempo? Uy, hace Bartolo. el año pasado. Hace <risa> poquito. Yo estuve en Intravesa hace en el 2000, quiero ver, 2009. Uy, sí, ese, no, yo el año pasado, pero salí corriendo de ahí. <risa> Lo siento. Yo estoy en planta 4. ¿En San Bartol? No, en, tran, en la troncal. Ah, en Traté. Ah, en la troncal. If you know <laughs> the benefits, as you can see, benefits see. of wash <laughs> of washing of washing your hair. With gray hair shampoo is
Yo creo que esta pregunta no va. Apro, apro, apropiate. 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 <ríe> apropiate. Apropiate. Ajá, le falta una E, una, una E, E, una R. Apropia. Apropia. Y le quita la D. With an appropriation. Yo tengo mi grammar. Mi grammar. Aquí está mi grammar. Helen, vamos a ver. Can you tell me if you know the benefits of washing your... Aquí está. Appropriate. No, pero es apropiado. Ajá. Appropriate. Champu. Appropriate. Ah, no, aquí está. Appropriate. Es que es con doble P. Is appropriate. Is in the appropriate. Appropriate. Uh -huh. Can you tell me, Can if, you tell you me know? if you know how much time do you spend making the shampoo? Como, como? How long? Uh, can how you long? tell me if how you long? know how long it takes you? <laughs> you know how long it takes it, it takes you to make shampoo uh -huh. to make a shampoo mm -hmm. to make a shampoo this is the Can you tell me if you know how much money do you spend making shampoo? Making a shampoo. Make. Can you tell me? When David finishes. Can you? Uh -huh. What the material of the table? But the material of the table is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Can you tell me uh, where the what, or what price? Mm -hmm. What price? Uh, what price sell the table? Maybe. How much? Okay, how, how much? Mm -hmm, how much the table is? How much the table is? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can you tell mm -hmm. me? Where's the table legs are? Okay. The last one. Uh, well, can you tell me where the where the where the bar? For the buy? ¿Cómo? Where the buyer, ¿dónde se va a vender? Oh, ajá, mm. ¿dónde? Where it where, is where? sold. Where uh -huh. it is going to be sold. Uh 
Okay. 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 So what time? Teacher, but in this case, mm -hmm. uh, we use it is it is going. In qual? It is going. Mm -hmm. Si. Si, ahí va, si va. It is going. Mm Mm -hmm. Me lo llevo ya. Ok. Ok. Vámonos, pues. A ver, a ver, everybody here. Three seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will need volunteers. Volunteers to chair. Adri. Adriana. Adriana, ready? Yes. Gotcha. Adriana, yo. Sí. Ok. <laughs> ok. ¿Can I share? Sure. Ok. These are our questions. Can you tell me if you know? This is about a new shampoo. Ok. Can you tell me if you know how the shampoo is prepared? Can you tell me if you know the benefits, benefits of washing your hair with an appropriate shampoo? Can you tell me if you know how long it takes to you to how long it takes you to make a shampoo? Can you tell me if you know how much money you spend making shampoo? Can you tell me if you know where you can buy the shampoo? And can you tell me if you know since when you use the shampoo? Okay. Very we, good. We had a question about the question five because we are using the verb can twice. Ah, no problem. No problem. No problem. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. That's it. Can you tell me if you know where you can find the shampoo? Yep. You can buy the shampoo. Yes, no problem. Okay. okay. Vamos Thank a ver. You. Who will be the next one? 
Eh, vamos a hacer una cosa. Adriana, Sofía, you choose the next victim. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> okay, Sophie, who will be the next one? Guáchelo bien ahí y vea quién le parece bonito para que pase ya. Rosy. Rosy. <laughs> Richard, yo veo el futuro, en serio. Rosy, before, before this meeting, before this, this session, Rosy said, with the look I have, I will, I will be choice. I will be chosen, she said, okay. Muy bien. Ay, no. Adriana, please. Le voy a compartir, Rosy. Please. Thank you. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Our product uh, are, I think, the share. And a question are, can you tell how many steps have the process? Can you tell me what is the first can step? You tell me how many, how many steps the process had. And the process had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number two, can you tell me what is the first step? What um, the first step is. is. Okay. Igual en la otra. Yes. Number three, can you tell me what the last step, step yeah. is? Mm -hmm. And can you tell me what the critical step on the process of manufacturing is? Uh, can you tell me what kind of material are used? Mm -hmm. And can you tell me how many time spent manufacturing complete piece? How long? How long? How long? How long do you spend? Quiero ver. Can you tell me how long? Spend no time. No. Oh. How long is it spent? Spent. Spent. Manufacturing a complete piece. Uh huh. Can you tell me how long it is spent? It is. It is spent. It, primero it, y después it is, ajá, uh -huh, spent in, man, in manufacturing a complete piece. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, that's Thank it. Thank you. Rosy, who's next? David, creo que quiere pasar. Vaya, David. Oh, sí. Aquí no ya sabía, Rosy, ya no sabía. No a nadie, ¿verdad, Rosy? <risa> Hay un Dios que te lo ve, Rosy. Oh, my goodness. <risa> ok, teacher. Eh, eh, ¿Hay question? Eh, ¿De abajo eh, de él? También ya. Del mueble ¿Can you tell me when David finishes the table? Our product is the the table teacher. A table, okay. Okay, the question is uh, number one, can you tell me when David finishes the table? Number two, can you tell me what the material of the table is? Mm -hmm. Number three, can you tell me how much the table is? Number four, can you tell me where the table left card? Hey, number five, can you tell me where is uh, going to be sold? What it is going to be sold. What it is. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent, David. Le borraste la clave a eso. Here's another volunteer. Teacher is speaking, no volunteer. A ver, pues. 
David, David, David. Who's next? Okay. Uh, y hay un montón de cuadernos aquí en el suelo. Uh, Alicia. Ya de estar ejecutado. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana. We already did a teacher. Si you were with Adriana, Sofía, Carla, and me were, uh, were in a group. Okay. Sorry, David. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, you could. Okay, David, choose another victim. Okay, and uh, number one, the list. Number one in the list is Adriana Sofia. She already did it. En order. Oigamos a Nubia. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yo no le quería mencionar para que no aproveche a teacher. Okay, I word to Kari and Jose Alfredo. Jose Alfredo. Sorry. Hola, hola. You will give support to Nubia. Kari. Okay. Um, permiso. Estoy. Eh, Nubia, could you tell me what we need to buy to start production? We need to buy raw material, how wool, white glue, mm -hmm. cloth, sandpaper. Um, can you tell me when we start to work? We start uh, work tomorrow, uh, the table. For the client, uh, no. We start work tomorrow. The table for the client is finished next week. Only teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. Vámonos a la última attendance. Let's see. Uh, Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. No está verdad. Ivo Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, present, Lisette Dayanara, no, Jessica Lisette, Jessica Lisette, no, here, Jose Alberto, present teacher, Karen Janet, Carla Lorena, present teacher, Lisette Dayanara, present teacher, Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José. Present teacher. Ok, Pacha. Nos quedamos entonces hoy con eh, Nubia, ¿verdad? See you tomorrow, no tomorrow, see tomorrow. Yo estoy pensando en que mañana es viernes, pero no quiero. Echar, no nos va a dejar ¿Eh? conectados. Entonces, ¿Ah? No nos va a dejar conectados esperando la ley. Ay, ay. Buenas noches. Y la teacher. Good night, teacher. Que era sábado. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Have a nice night. Bye bye. See you, see you. Okay, Nubia. Teacher, teacher, solo quiero decirle que mañana voy a estar de oyente porque tengo un evento de la empresa y tengo que estar presente. Ay, vaya, Carlita. Sí. 
calla, por favor. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Ok, Nubia, how are you? ¿Qué me cuenta? Tiene cerrado el micrófono. <ríe> Ay, cierto. No, le decía que bien, gracias. Y este, sorprendida con todo esto de las clases. O sea, bien bonito, muy intenso, súper práctico. Yo la verdad que todo esto no lo había visto y sí es entendible, pero tiene uno como que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? De cómo estructurar todo. Sí, y porque sí. hoy en el caso de, de las terceras personas, eh, agregar la S en esa de, de sustituir el DAS. Uh -huh. o sea, okay. Exacto. Uh -huh. sí, son detallitos de ponerle esa atención. Porque si no, ahí se va el, el, el error, ¿verdad? Entonces, de uh -huh. todos esos aspectos. Y, y fíjese que eh, aquí falta un montón, un montón de estructuras que no se logran ver, pero que son bien importantes. Y, y como, como en todo, la base va desde el presente simple, cuando empezamos a estudiar el present simple, because if you see in these indirect questions that we're using, we're using the indirect questions, but we are paying attention to the verbs in present, to the verb in past, if it is in future, if you're using a model. So we're, we're, we're paying attention to all those, those things. And that's why it is very important when you manage the the tenses correctly because you can use this structure in all the tenses i have limited to give you present past and future but you can use it in present continuous past continuous present perfect in past perfect in all the tenses right you can you can use it in all tenses but The idea is that you get the structure. And if I give you all the tenses, it would be like more complicated, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we're getting just to present, past, future. So you see how, how they, they work, right? And how they behave in each of the cases. If you are reporting a yes, no question, if you're reporting an information question, I don't remember if later on, vamos a ver if in the next unit, because there is also a, when we ask, vamos a ver. Ah, the next we're taking again the present perfect. That's what we're taking. Passive voice, present perfect. Remember, we were talking about passive voice for present and past. Right. <laughs> See, that's the that's the new structure, passive voice. Mm -hmm. And the good thing also is the vocabulary that you are uh, getting a lot of vocabulary. It's not easy sometimes, but that's why uh, in this unit I better divide the the vocabulary in the middle of the lessons. Because mm -hmm. if no, it gets complicated for you to be uh, identifying a lot of vocabulary at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And that way, when we get to the reading, if we find some of these words, we already know it. Uh, but uh, sometimes they send us to work the vocabulary until the last day of class or the unit. Mm -hmm. By that moment, you were already breaking your head with the vocabulary. But in this one, it was better structured because the vocabulary was included in the middle. It mm -hmm. was taken before, not until the last minute. Because you need the vocabulary and you need the structure to be able to do all the things that you have to do. That I'm happy that you see that, that, that you feel you're learning and you're having 
some challenge, <laughs> but at the same time learning, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any yes. questions, uh, Nubia, about any of the topics? No, no, not teacher. I in in this in in this um, class, mm -hmm. I learn very much a uh, vocabulary and it is structured for that. Uh, Oraciones, sentences. For the sentences. Yes, y en I think that debo. I should. Ajá. Leer más. Read. Ajá. Read, read. Read more. Read. For example, text in English, uh, yeah. because uh, I uh, learned that uh, the form, uh, como, como se estructurado de, de, de Definitely. las oraciones, las palabras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y, when you, uh, read, you learn vocabulary too. Yes, mm -hmm. in, in this unit, it is very interesting because that that vocabulary is, is in, in focus that marketing mm. product it all relacionado con, con, con eso, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Entonces, I learned very much. That's great. It works. And it, Today, eh, the forms, eh, como eh, estructurar. Mm -hmm. eh, How to make the questions. Uh -huh. And that's why I, I gave you a review about yesterday's class, because that would be a good base for you to do the following, right? Because the rules are basically the same with the difference that here we use the double H word and in the previous one, we use if. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, uh -huh. it's, it's and, very interesting. And that way you get like more familiarized with the structure and you feel more confident about using it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I see that you all assimilated the structure very well. You had no problem with the with the structure, right? It was yes. better than the previous one of subject verb agreement, you felt that a little bit more complicated, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but it's, it's very, very interesting. Yeah, and, and challenging. I love this form that structure for that question, the answer. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. So that way you can ask somebody but instead of asking directly, you want to ask and being more polite too, right? Mm -hmm. More formal and more polite when asking something. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, do you have any other question, Nuria? No, not sure. Okay, perfect. I will let you go rest then and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. See you too, teacher. See you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You're you welcome. Too. Okay. God bless you, teacher. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Take care.